solve the three by three system using Gauss Jordan elimination. And here we have a system of three equations and three unknowns. And what we do in a Gauss Jordan elimination is we take the original system of equations and we rewrite a matrix of these equations using just the coefficients. So 2x plus 6y plus z equals 7 becomes 2, 6, 1, and 7, and so on. And what we do eventually is, through the process of elimination, we convert to a form called reduced row echelon form that ends up being in this form, 1, 0, 0, and a number here. And the next row is 0, 1, 0, and another number. And then we have our final row, 0, 0, 1, and a number. And so when we reduce the coefficients to this reduced row echelon form, sometimes you'll see it written as REF, you have the solutions to this system of equations. So, uh, what we do with the Gauss-Jordan elimination method is do the elimination in a particular order to make it more efficient. And the first one we look at here is this, is this lower left corner. So that's our first. And then we eliminate this first. Uh, when I say eliminate, we get, make these zero. This will be our second elimination. And then we're going to come down here and eliminate this space here. And so those will be our first three uh, things that we're going to change to zero. And then after we do that, we're going to come up here to where this one is, upper right. This will be our fourth. And then where this negative one is, right below that one, that will be our fifth. And then finally, where this number six is, that's going to be our sixth. So that'll be the order we're going to pursue here. I'm going to just erase all these again. And so um, what we're going to do to get rid of this five and make zero of it, you just look for where you can do things and probably this second row, I notice if we take negative 5 times row 2 and add to it row 3, that, that will do the job for us. And some people, in, some people in doing these operations, what they'll do is continually erase and rewrite. I like to just sequentially work these out. So I'm just going to rewrite rows 1 and 2. 2, 6, 1, 7, first row, second row, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 1. In this manner, we only change one row at a time as we pursue to a new uh, matrix. And so negative 5 times row 2 plus row 3, that's 0. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus 7 is negative 3. The next we have is negative 1 times negative 5, that's 5, plus negative 4 is 1. And then we have negative 1 times negative 5 is 4, it is 5, and 5 plus 9 is 14. So that takes care of this space. So the next one we're going to do is get rid of this 1. And I will show you how I'm going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take negative 2 times row 2 plus row 1. I'm just going to write this negative 2 row 2 plus row 1. And I'm going to rewrite rows 1 and 3. Again, we're only changing one row at a time. I'll 
Okay. Negative 2, row 2 plus row 1 is going to be 0. Negative 2, row 2 will be negative 4 plus 6 will be 2. Negative 2, row 2 will be 2. Negative 2 times 1 is, is 2 plus 1 is 3. And then the last number on the right is negative 1 times negative 2. Or, yeah, negative 1 times negative 2 is going to be 2 plus 7 is 9. Okay, so that'll be that. And the next thing we're going to do is eliminate this negative 3 down here, change that to a 0. And here we don't have even multiples going for us. And really we're limited now to work with only row 2 because row, th row 1 has that 2 coefficient on the far left. And so what we're going to have to do is, is look for a way to, to make 0 out of these 2 coefficients. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to say this row down here is going to be uh, it's going to be th 3 times row 2 plus 2 times row 3. Okay, I'm just going to rewrite rows 1 and row 2, 2, 6, 1, 7, 0, 2, 3, 9, and and this is going to be 0 here. Okay, if we take 3 times row 2 is 6 plus 2 times row 3, that's going to be 6 minus 6, which is 0. And then 3 times row 2, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 times 1, that's going to be 11. And then lastly, this we have 3 times row 2, 3 times 9 is 27, and 27 plus 2 times 14 is going to be 28. It's going to be equal to 55. Okay, so... We have 55 here. Now, we really have row 3 almost done. What we're going to do is divide row 3 by 11. So I'm going to put row 3 divided by 11. And when we do that, in the lower row, we get 0, 0, 1, and 5 because 55 divided by 11 is 5. And then we rewrite rows 1 and 2. Okay, there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is focus on this 1 up here. We've taken care of these first three in order. And we're going to take care of this one up here. Well, if if you notice, we can take this row. We can put negative row three plus row one. So I put negative row three plus row one. And what that's, I'm going to rewrite rows 2 and 3 here. 0, 2, 3, 9. It looks, I want to make more, more than here. And 0, 0, 1, 5. Okay. Up here. Negative row 3 plus row 1 is going to be 
we're going to rewrite the 2 and the 6 here because they're unchanged by this 0 down here. And then negative row 3 is negative 1 plus row 1 is 0. And then we take this uh, negative 5. Negative 5 plus 7 is 2. So that's what we have here. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is take this. We're going to get rid of this 3. And what we're going to do is, is make this negative row, th row uh, negative 3 row 3. plus row 2. And I'm just going to rewrite rows 1 and 3. So we have 2, 6, 0, 2. And then we have 0, 0, 1, 5. OK, negative 3. Row 3 plus row 2 is 0. Negative 3, row 3, would be 0 plus 2. And then we have negative 3, row 3, plus row 2. We're going to have 0 here. And finally, we have negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, plus 9 is negative 6. So now, we have a situation where we can take this second row and divide it by divide it by two. So row two divided by two. What we're going to get is zero, one, zero, and negative six divided by two is negative three. And then we can rewrite rows 3 and 1. Okay, and the last thing we have to do to get rid of here is this 6 right here. And to do that, for row 1, we're going to take negative 6, row 2, plus row 1. Okay, and rewriting rows 2 and 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 3, and row 3 is 0, 0, 1, 5. Okay, and Negative 6, R2, will be 0 plus 2, plus R1, that's 0 plus 2. And then negative 6 times 1 plus 6 is going to be 0. And then we have 0 here, and negative 6 times R3 is, times negative 3 is 18 and 18 plus row 1 which is 2 is 20. Okay and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take row 1 and divide row 1 by 2 and when we do that in the first row we get 1, 0, 0, 10 and then our second and third row, we just rewrite those 0, 1, 0, negative 3. And then we have 0, 0, 1, 5. And so now we have reduced row echelon form. So we have our first row is represents x equals 10. Our second row represents 
y is equal to negative 3, and our third row represents z equals 5. So this is how we use uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve a system, a 3 by 3 system of equations. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.